Uh, I was uh, working as the uh, senior strategy manager at Bayer Healthcare in China. Uh, I was uh, leading the strategy team at Bayer, uh, as well as overseeing the business development and software operations. So I was in healthcare, but primarily from a business background. But before that, I was working for Youth Change Foundation, which is an affiliate to the States Council, uh, but in a philanthropy foundation format, uh, helping to do policy advocacy and uh, develop uh, social sectors in China. Uh, my last job before your, your turn was working uh, for Monitor Group as a management consultant. I think uh, I have been always very interested in uh, public policy, but in my capacity of uh, working as a business leader at Bayer, uh, I came to even closer realization that healthcare is uh, indeed an uh, area that uh, public and private uh, sector leaders have to come together. And uh, China is actually undergoing healthcare reform. Uh, only if the business leaders also have a good understanding on policy and vice versa, we can shape a universal healthcare in China. My relationship with the faculty here is uh, really amazing. Uh, we get a lot of opportunities to meet our professors both in the classrooms, uh, in the format of case discussions and classroom discussions, uh, as well as outside the classrooms. Uh, we can always go to office hours, and also there are fantastic talks. I went to one talk uh, with Larry Summers uh, with only 20 students, and he told me uh, about everything about public service was just amazing. Uh, my fellow students always impressed me about uh, what is the diversity here? Uh, how different the perspectives are? People come from uh, very different backgrounds, from uh, state government, local government, NGO, and also businesses. And uh, uh, But they're all very, very friendly, and they're all remarkable in whatever they were doing. So we can always learn together. It's just uh, very fun to hang out together, too. My class size uh, can be somewhere close to 50 for most of my classes, uh, because we are arranging the cohorts for MTP1 students. Uh, I really like it because in that sense you can always have uh, relevant experiences in whatever discussions you are having from real world. In the meantime, uh, you still get to know everyone uh, personally. To be honest, this is the one of the most uh, uh, intensive program I've attended, but uh, it's very, very fun. Uh, we only spend one third of our time in classroom and coursework. There are, uh, every minute there are like so many interesting talks and I'm also involved in student government and uh, uh, a lot of other things. So it's a very hybrid uh, experiences. That makes it so uh, fulfilling. Uh, it's busy, but we are happy with it. Uh, my typical day uh, probably starts at uh, 8 uh, a.m. in the morning. I will get a coffee from Alban Peng at Harvard Square. Then I will work uh, to Kennedy School. I typically I will have two or three different classes uh, every day. Uh, in the middle, I will have uh, lunch with uh, panel speakers, attend some talks. Uh, sometimes even within the same day, we have different uh, presidents from different countries coming in. Then after 4 p.m., uh, I will hang out with, with my study groups, have lunch with my friends in Dali House. And then uh, at night, I will do my student government and crop things and do some exercise. So, uh, and I will close my day at around 12 p.m., at 12 a.m. Yeah. I think Harvard Kennedy School is uh, one of the experiences uh, that uh, a young person can have that will have a long-lasting impact for your whole, uh, for your own life. But I do see uh, if you kind of have a clear direction on where you are heading to, uh, you will be able to benefit more from it because uh, this is really a resource-rich environment and it's always uh, overwhelming in a good way. Uh, if you have a clear mindset on a rough direction where you are heading to while having an open mindset, uh, you will benefit uh, tremendously here. My biggest advice for whoever uh, considering to apply is please go ahead and do apply. Uh, this will be the most amazing thing ever that could happen to your life, at least one of them, because that, that was definitely for me. I had a, a really uh, a good job that I really appreciated. It uh, was a fairly senior job and everybody on my peer group is in their 30s, 40s. It's not uh, common for people of my age, but I never regretted uh, taking two years off and come to Harvard uh, just to learn more things, uh, reflect on yourself and also uh, knowing new friends uh, is one of the most amazing things that have ever happened to me. So you should join me in this and just go ahead and apply for it.